we can learn to find more about it. This is an excellent book. And we did not have a chance to do every single photo analysis of every photo. But we should. So you might even want to look through this book to see even more. Right? So if you're wondering more about your picture, this would be the place to do it. Now, he was the man who really then helped get child labor laws to be all over the United States. In 1924 is when they really started happening in the United States. So in 1924, it started making these kids doing illegal things. They said, no, they have to go to school. They have to get an education. So out on the timeline, what do you think we should put out Child there? Labor. What do you think? Child labor. Child labor laws started in 1924. A few states had them before then, but not all the states did. So if we put that on there, then we'll say in 1924, we know these things happened before or after that. Before or after that? Before. Before. Because after 1924, were they allowed to do that anymore? No. No. All right. Lots of people have things that they would like to say. Bryce. So, like, when was Harding saying all the other people didn't do anything, we would be working instead of going to school? Possibly could have lasted longer, couldn't it? That's kind of Yeah? Like True. Zach. Um, I have a connection with that picture. Mm -hmm. um, it's in children that work in... In, um, that you're right, we have a guided reading group who's reading the book called Children at Work. And a lot of those pictures, you're right, are Lewis Hines' pictures in your book and guided reading too. Great connection. Other Zach. Um, that little square box on the corner, corner does that go on the... This little girl right here, they just did a close-up on her, didn't they? Yes. I have a question. Um, when you were born, um, if, when you were around that time, where would you go? If you were a baby, you mean? Mm -hmm. Well, often, if you notice this lady right here, that's her mom. So they took the babies to work with them. If they were babies, they might put them like in a little papoose thing and tie them to them, like in those blankets. Have you seen oh, those yeah. before when a mother will just tie them onto them? Okay. They would take the small children with them. Okay. They could die. That's why when they were old enough to do something, they started working too. Okay. Um, on the front, is that like someone taking Yes, it is. It's a docker. You're correct. Hmm? Um, so, what is striking during this time? Yes, they were. Because this was four years after women got the vote. Right. So, women are still working for some equal rights, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Didn't come overnight. Just like if we learned that, did any amendment just change to everything just like that? No, no people, people have years. to vote it for it. It took some time. So, you're right. The laws started there. But then they had to start enforcing them to get it to stop. Like um, okay. the 16th Amendment, Abraham Lincoln, he was, uh, I mean, the 13th Amendment. Um, I was thinking of the president. You're thinking um, of the, yeah, the year yeah. of the president. He was the 16th yeah. president. You're right. Um, okay, 13th Amendment what? Uh, um, slavery is not illegal um, in America. Mm -hmm. And um, it, took, it took like three years or something, or even more change that law. Yeah, because what started happening then? Uh, yeah, segregation. segregation. And how long did segregation last? A long time. Like a hundred yeah. years. Close to a hundred years. 